Fluorescence microscopy is an essential tool that allows us to look inside a cell and discover which processes are key to health and disease. We leverage computing science to offer us a more precise view than the microscope itself allows. I will show you a few exciting examples of a selection of our recent work to illustrate what we can uncover. Single molecule localization microscopy allows us to see five to 10 nanometer large protein structures inside a cell. It is made possible by transforming a 2D image sequence seen here on the left into a 3D point cloud on the right. The 3D structures shown here are microtubules with a diameter of about 100 nanometers. These are critical in, for example, the correct functioning of neurons. The localization algorithm is highly sensitive to variable emission density, causing false positives and false negatives, which then can corrupt the predicted 3D structure. To address this, we use a recurrent neural network that accurately predicts emission, emission density, which then enables the filtering out of false positives and the detection of false negatives. In, super in 2D super resolution microscopy images, we developed a method that uses belief theory to learn which protein structures are present and which are indicative for a cell level label. The first example shows the detection of amyloid beta deposits in confocal microscopy of retinal cross-sections. Our method learns to distinguish deposits that are likely uh, to be associated with Alzheimer's disease here in red versus those that can appear equally likely in healthy tissue in green. Next, we see the detection of scaffolds and tabuli, structures that enable a cell to, to withstand physical stress and are therefore essential for its survival. Understanding how these structures are formed opens up opportunities in developing targeted treatments for aggressive tumor cells. Finally, our method is able to detect in live cells the process of mitophagy, where a cell discards damaged sections of mitochondria. Recent work has shown that the malfunctioning of this process can lead to a wide spectrum of diseases, such as diabetes and neurodegenerative disease. <laughs> 